Hi everyone and welcome to our dog training clip about Teddy. My name is Robin McFarlane and I'm a professional dog trainer. I am located in Wisconsin and I own a company called That's My Dog. And this is Teddy. He's a young white German Shepherd who was brought to us because he had actually nipped a small child and he'd had some problems uh, being around other dogs. You can see he likes to jump up quite a bit. He's a little rambunctious. Uh, when you try to take him for a walk, he gets pretty excited whenever he sees something. Right here, he can see a dog uh, over near our kennel building, and he gets his hackles up and starts to drag me over there. So uh, actually what I want to show you here is some of the work that I do. I specialize in training with remote collars. And uh, right now this is my first lesson with Teddy. I just put the collar on there and I'm going to be using it to get his attention and teach him to pay attention to me. I believe that if you can get a dog to pay attention to you, then it's going to be a lot easier to walk down the street uh, or to get through situations where a dog would get too excited and maybe they got into some trouble before because they ran or bolted on you and you weren't able to get them back. So things like that, we can actually use the collar very uh, efficiently to teach the dog to pay attention. Now what I'm doing here is actually trying to figure out what level the dog can feel. And I think this is really important and it's uh, really my reason for making these video clips is to help educate people that a remote collar can be very humane and a very positive way to train a dog. It is not a tool that has to be used as a last resort or something that has to be used uh, in a way that causes the dog any discomfort. You can see there I just finally got his attention. That took me about a minute and 40 seconds in this first session. Now I did a little editing to the clip. This is about five minutes into his first training session. You can see that I am walking him pretty easily. I am using the collar to teach him to pay attention and to stay with me. And again, I want to point out, when this collar training is done correctly, it is uh, very easy on the dog and it is very easy on the owner as well. You can see that he's not dragging me, his tail is wagging, but he is learning to pay attention because I'm using the collar to tap to maintain his attention. So that's kind of a goal uh, with the remote collar training. There I speed up a little bit and keep him with me. And Teddy's doing great. And again, this is his first training session and it was about five minutes into it. Now I want to move on and show you uh, some of his second training session that day. And actually what you're seeing here is I'm teaching him to pay attention and watch me. Because I wanted Teddy to be able to watch me when we got around other dogs rather than getting so excited and getting out of control. So I'm using a combination of the remote collar and food. You can hear that beeping sound in the background. And that's to let you know that I am tapping that collar. I put a monitor on so you can actually hear when those button taps are going on. Again, I want you to notice this remote collar technique that I'm trying to educate people on is not harmful to the dog. It is not causing him any distress. It is getting his attention. It's working very well. Now, I'm not advocating that people just run out and get a remote collar and try to do it themselves based on this uh, five minute video clip, but I do want people to be aware that it is a very humane way to train the dog when it's done correctly. And actually, that's the reason that I created a DVD. It's called Just Right Training Method, and it is uh, an educational piece about how to use a remote collar so that you can have your dog walk with you, sit and pay attention to you, go to his place and just chill out. And you can see here, this was our third training session of the day with Teddy. I walked him up to that same place there near our kennel. There's a dog over here in the pen. Now Teddy's not perfectly comfortable with this, but I'm going to remind everyone this is his first day of training. And we obviously have quite a bit more control. This was, uh, you know, three sessions of training and we're getting a lot more control. We're able to at least have enough attention that I can bring that focus back to me and start to reward him for focus on me rather than worrying about the other dog. And this is just the beginning. I believe that Teddy's going to do fantastic. He actually relaxes enough to lay down here in the presence of the other dog, which I thought was a pretty huge accomplishment for our first day. So I think Teddy's going to do fantastic, and I think your dog could do fantastic with this training method also. If you're interested in learning more, just contact us at that'smydog.com.